all right hello you guys we are back with another video and today i want to talk about products expiring <laughs> so on my last video um about me buying all of those main choice products a lot of people were like they're gonna go moldy on you girl they're gonna go bad why did you buy so many you're not even gonna be able to use them how are you gonna use all of those gelatos? How are you gonna use all of these main choice products? They're gonna go bad on you. They're gonna go moldy. Girl, what are you doing? No. I have seen people say this a million gazillion times, that they follow the 12 month or six month shelf life that's on products. And I'm gonna show you guys some products that I have here that I've had for a very, very long time that I will still use. And I'm talking years, not six months, not 12 months. It might be some of the stuff I might have had for at least four or five years, and I would still use it to this day. Number one, you have to remember that yes, there are natural products, there are, you know, products that have preservatives in them that help with the shelf life. Um, also, keep in mind, where do you live? Where do you live, girlfriend? Because if you live somewhere or your house is just always super, super hot, then yeah, <laughs> your products might get a little moldy. If you got them underneath the cabinet in your bathroom, your products might be a little moldy, sis. There's so many factors when it comes to hair products expiring. Every, I believe every hair product is different. Every manufacturer makes their products different. There's different ingredients. And you really just have to figure out if your product is gonna expire or not. Is your product moldy AF? Like, girl, just sniff that joint. What does it smell like? I have gotten brand new products, <laughs> okay? Brand new products just got shipped, opened it up. Ew, moldy, separation, this ain't it brand new it could have been just because of travel maybe it shipped during the summertime and it ended up getting moldy and yeah like can't use that so basically i just don't want y'all to be throwing away y'all hair products because on the side of the jar it says six months and you have an excel spreadsheet and <laughs> you're like look six months hit time to throw out that allocate naturals baby because it's six months no now if you're just OCD like that because let me tell you when it comes to food I don't play with expiration dates so some of the things that you can look at is appearance does it look moldy okay if your product is white you do you see some brown stuff floating around in it does it look black like do you see it has it separated is it like one half of the product is kind of plump the other half is milky <laughs> I don't think I would use that I would definitely probably throw that away also smell this is why a lot of people actually don't like fragrance in their product but what does it smell like does this does it smell trashy does it smell moldy like you know what a good hair product smells like and you know what a bad hair product smells like even if it is your first time opening up that product you know what a bad hair product smells like okay so yeah toss it reach out to the company a refund baby and also the consistency. So let's say you bought a product and you know, over time the consistency has changed. Now sometimes you might just need to do a little stir stir and mix it up and it's fine. But sometimes if it's just, if the separation is too much, let it go, throw it away. Girl, and this is why I don't be buying expensive hair care products, okay? Because throw it in the trash, yikes. <laughs> Um, but okay, so I want to show you guys a couple of hair products that I have that I've had for a very long time. A very long time. And consistency has not changed, smell has not changed, no separation in the products. Some are open, some are not. But I just want to show you that, like, you really have to look at each product that you have keep in mind where you store products you can store some products in the fridge if it's an all natural product and you feel like the ingredients are super super fresh and it has a possibility of going bad put it in the fridge put it in the fridge ain't nothing wrong with that as long as you ain't got somebody in your house that's gonna eat it nothing is wrong with that so one of the products that i've had for an extremely long time 
it is had it has to have been at least four years four years i'm thinking the main choice pearly braid out glaze i tried this and it just it gave me this is before gelato came out okay and y'all know how obsessed i've been over the gelato and this gives you extra 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 hold but it's a little more sticky to me than gelato so this is the only reason why i prefer gelato over this one but smells the same looks the same no separation in there nothing absolutely no difference <laughs> i don't even know if y'all could it's like a piece of hair in there but let me see I don't know if y'all could tell, but it's absolutely no difference. Nothing is different about it. Um, the Lemongrass Hold It Styling Gel. I got this when it first came out. Y'all can do the math. When did that come out? Maybe four or five years ago? I'm thinking. Does it smell funny? You probably definitely can't see that, but absolutely the same. Nothing has changed. It's no mold in here. It's like nothing. It looks the same. Um, let me see something that's like more all. Oh. Uh, here's a product from She Scented. This is their um, Plum Nectar and Agave Moisture Rich Hair Mayo with Agave Plum Extract and Sunflower Seed Oil. I've used this, but it looks the same. I haven't used this. I don't know. Maybe it's been three years for this one. Maybe two or three years. It looks exactly the same. Um, let's see. This is from Honey's Handmade, and this is the chocolate dip. This was their Valentine's Day collection. Ooh, how long ago was this? Maybe three years ago? Looks the same. No moldy. Oh, it's still. Oh, and I still got that super chocolate scent, baby. Yes. Nothing different. Um, this is the first jar of the. Uh, I was about to say Milani. Uh, uh. The <laughs> melanin hair care from Whitney. This is a twist elongated style cream with shea butter and natural oils. Um, the shelf life on this is. Probably 12, what is it? Yeah, 12 months. I should've I should have looked on each one and told y'all if it said 12 months to six months, but I'm, we're just gonna assume they all say 12 months because I've had them beyond 12 months anyway. Um, this never really had a scent to it, but absolutely the same as I opened it. And I got this one as, I got this as soon as it came out. So it's been what, maybe three years now since Whitney's products have been out. Um, so yeah, same. And yeah, you can tell I don't use that child, but you know. Also the uh, leave-in conditioning cream, same, I think it's 12 months. Got this when it first came out, still, still looks the same, no mold, no separation. Y'all, y'all really think I'm just not gonna use this? <laughs> crazy y'all is wildin um let's see so sultanicals glide and go deep ayurvedic fenugreek mask this also says 12 months which i'm sure i've had this beyond 12 months no issues same it looked like this when i originally opened it it's a piece of hair in there because i've used it but same Smells the same. I have a ton of these that I have not used that I'm pretty sure they all say 12 months. Do they? Uh, I don't even see anything on here, child. A Camille Rose said, look, sis, use it however long you want to. No shelf life on here. But Curly Magic, I mean, not Curly Magics. Um, curl Makers, I'm not getting rid of these. I actually really do like Curl Maker. Um, Curly Magic, what does this say? This says 12 months. Now, I, baby, I know. I, I know for a fact that I've had this at least five years because I stopped using Curly Magic um, when I lived at my old place. 
So, yeah, I know this is at least five years old. Sound the same to me, baby. I will use it, okay? I'm not throwing it away. Um, the As I Am, this also says 12 months. The top is dusty. I have not even used this yet. So, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. Mish. This is the quenched, hydrated, and twisting butter. Does it say on here? I don't see it. I don't see it, but I've had this a very long time. I, this is not like a favorite product of mine, so I don't use it. Smells the same. Kinda looks the same. Nothing is wrong with it. So the moral of the story is check your products. You should know which products have, you know, super rich ingredients that you may need to store in a fridge to keep them fresh. Um, and then you have your products that will, that will, they will last, girlfriend. They will last. You do not have to hurry up and use products before the 12 months. Who even remembers? Just, I'm not that person that believes in you know, the shelf life, once you open a product, you just cannot go back and use it after the six month, 12 month. Analyze each of your products. Analyze them. That's it. So all of those gelatos that I bought, if I don't use them within 12 months, they'll be fine. I still have gelatos that I haven't even opened before I even made that purchase. But definitely let me know in the comments, are you the type of person that just refuses to use a product after, you know, the 12 month mark? Do you have a spreadsheet? Now I'm an Excel queen, okay? So I, I understand the value of a spreadsheet, but are you, do you have a spreadsheet for your hair products? You can let me know, no judgments, no judgments. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all in the next one.